What's up guys? I just got back from Michael's and I picked up a couple things that I wanted to show. Um, this video is going to be including stuff that I got today and then stuff that I ordered on Amazon in the process of like maybe about two weeks or so. I didn't really talk in any of those unboxings because I was it was earlier in the day here and I didn't want he people to hear me like talking to myself about like art supplies. But it's after five now, it's like almost after six, so I'm just going to show you the things I got today and let's get started. So the first thing I got was this um, pack of seven or how many, 12 file when needed erasers. They had individual ones, like larger sets, like uh, individual larger ones, um, but I thought I would use a lot more of them if I had more of them instead of just like reusing like an old one that I've had since like high school. I've never seen them like in boxes like this, like more than one in like a little pack. But how cute, they have a little, come on. And then along the same lines, I got this General's Extra Soft um, Bactus eraser and I talked about how much I like these in my everything I need to know about erasers video everything you need to know everything I know about eraser video and I said how much I loved it and I have one and I'm like I don't know where it is it was in my backpack I also picked up these. This is all stuff I got from Michaels. Um, they had a coupon like 30% off regular price items and I was like, thought that was such a great deal. I ended up getting a lot of stuff that was on sale, but this was one of the things that was on sale. It was on clearance for $10. Regularly, regularly, regularly I think it was like 35 or something. So it's six neon colors and I'm actually about to do a video right now, the neon ch challenge. So I'm gonna be doing some type of drawing I have to decide what I want to do for Saturday um, and I'll be posting that. Well actually that video will go up before this one will. These six colors, blue, green, yellow, orange, this is called spark red and pink. These are so vibrant especially that one and they're like highlighter colors. And then this is something that I've been needing for like a really long time. Um, it is a paper trimmer. And I use, I spend a lot of time cutting things with my X-Acto and it's just a lot more work. I think to like mark the edges of paper and then like put the ruler down and then like cut through. And it's like my ruler moved a little bit, but this is just a lot easier. I think this would be a really great asset to my studio. There. See, and up. And pop this down. And then something that I've been wanting for like a really long time was this Fujifilm Instamax camera. I bought these little, they're like credit card sized films according to what it says. And there, there's 20 in this little box. It was separate. You had to buy it separately. And this was actually on sale. And this has been something that I've been looking at for a while. And I was just never wanted to like pull a trigger on it, but I think this would be so fun. I don't really know if it's art related. I guess it's more craft related. A little cartridge, like it would, you'd think like when you're putting in a printer, I'm pointing at my printer right now, so I'm pointing behind me. There's two of them. It takes two AA batteries and it comes with batteries. Oh, this does um, high key, sunny, less sunny, cloudy inside. It looks like it has these little markers right here. So, oh, that's cool. That's <laughs> how the back opens. You can just pop it open. Just stick it in like this. How do you actually press the button though? Like, how do you actually take a picture? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, but it looked like a total weirdo. It 
and that is the insects mini 8 camera i feel like it's a little bit overexposed i think i used a little bit too much but it's so cool <laughs> okay so do you remember how i was saying that i filmed some of this uh video when i couldn't really speak it's like 11 o'clock at night right now on monday i will tell you a little bit about these items that i purchased so the first one is the windsor and newton gold ink and this was my first impression of it so i was looking at it um, one thing that i found interesting this particular bottle is for us only i read this on the box which is interesting to me because this windsor and newton brand is english right it's from england i think or uk If you want to see a video in which I actually use this ink, I showed where I used the moleskin with that gold ink in that video. And it was really cool, really cool video and I liked it a lot, so check it out. Okay, so this next bit is fun for me because it's really exciting that I got some new lights and it's a lot better than the... I don't know if I'm like lit up at all right now. I'm just using my two lights that I got instead of like the overhead lights which are really ugly and kind of green and yellow. Gross. So I don't know what color I look like right now because I obviously have it set for this kind of light with those two lights so we'll see but um, I filmed the entire unboxing of these lights so everything from the um, tripod stands that like go up and down to unscrew or screwing in the CFL bulbs to like opening up the little umbrellas to putting them on to like closing them out with like the little soft box thing and I don't have that footage anymore. I'm also opening a little bottle of clove um, essential oil and let me look at it right now. So clove essential oil, which is exactly what I first said. First botany cause Cosmeceuticals, 100% natural and pure, uh, therapeutic grade for flu ounces. This smells gosh, so good. The reason that I bought this is because I'm using this as a medium for oil painting. It's really liquidy, so it makes me a little bit nervous to use it, but I haven't used it quite yet on this particular painting because I wanted to get through this one, do a different one, so I'm not like mixing oils. But basically, what this is. Um, I was watching Draw Mix Paint. He was talking about using clove oil as a dryer instead of using along these lines, Gamsol Galkid, which has solvents in it and it is drying so it evaporates and it's like harmful to you. This is a quick drying. It's like a, I've, I say this all the time, but it's a hybrid of sand oil and liquid so it's quick drying but it also flattens your brush strokes and more natural alternative to that i bought the clove oil which oh my gosh i am so excited about it smells so good it has this little dropper in it and now these mole skins it was a pack of three pastel mole skins i think i paid about nine dollars for all three really soft cover i i always say that i think that they're 100 percent cotton but i don't really know for sure um, just like all those skins, they have a little pocket in the back, and on the back it is stamped with the word or their brand, Moleskin. Once again, I do have a video using the Moleskin and the gold ink. The next item that I talked about actually in my How to Set Up Your Art Studio is the Artist Bridge. It's like different things that you need that I think are important to, to when you actually have a studio space. that was this item here um, if you want to watch that video about those items you can click down there Florida's bridge came in this box and this box looks like it looks like it was like packaged in the 70s where it was like artist bridge and I'm like dude this like the graphic design of this box is like so old school and the very last thing is my stick. I've been using it um, but it's been really great so far I've used it just 
um, for like this area and a little bit right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really handy and I'm really happy to have it and I feel like super professional when I use it. That's all you guys and um, this has been my April haul. If you have any suggestions for things that I should use in my studio, let me know. Anything that I forgot in my how to set up your studio video, let me know. What things that you use that I should probably use too, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe to become a Catherine Siskin like me and I will see you guys on Saturday. I post a video every Wednesday and every Saturday. Bye. Who was I watching? Nothing important. Ooh. Uh, it, 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 it,